Six days from today, ODU plays in the Myrtle Beach Bowl in South Carolina, so that means it's Bowl Week for the Monarchs. The team is practicing a couple days in Norfolk before taking off for the Palmetto State Thursday. Once there, the guys will get in three practices before the game next Monday. Now, in terms of wins and losses, at one point this season, ODU looked broken. I mean, they were one and six. But if we look beyond the box score, you notice this team was clearly not as bad and down and out as their record indicated. They played tight games against Marshall, Buffalo, and Utah. UTEP, excuse me, they reeled off five wins in a row, and the seniors on this team have the chance to end their careers with a second bowl game win. The last time they did it was back in 2016, and they were red shirts. You know, especially with the way the season's gone, it was very up and down. To be able to go out there with the possibility of ending on uh, a very high note um, is awesome. And uh, just the fact that we get all these extra practices and this extra opportunity to, to you know, kind of prove to everybody that our, you know, what we want to do works and that want to know is, is the correct way to do things and the right way to do stuff. And um, I think that's really the big thing is that we get to, another chance to prove that, you know, we, we've done this thing the right way. It's an amazing feeling, um, especially just everything that we've been through this whole season, um, just how we started down, but then been trending up lately. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a great feeling. And just to be able to um, still just be around all the guys, um, that's one thing that I'm trying to cherish right now, knowing that this is my last game coming up. It's, it's a good feeling. Kickoff against Tulsa next Monday at 2.30 on ESPN. Myself and Brian Parsons are making the trip down to South Carolina Thursday. We're going to bring you tons of coverage later this week and into the weekend leading up to the game. Well, normally the